Um, so here I am, my name is Adam. So like today I'm gonna give a lecture about there is no such thing as self-realization. Well, there was a moment, a constantly recurring moment, which I call it uh, self-questioning. The topic about this moment is about questioning myself, what turns me from there, this picture, to here. Um, so this question bothered me so much, like when I was looking through my personal document at my consular office, um, every picture walked by just stopped and looked at my old picture like that and just laughing so hard. The thing is, whether you like it or not, people do gross. Um, it sometimes happens in a dramatical way that you aren't really adapted. People do gross not only in the recorded files or, or friends' camera roll, um, it grows everywhere. Um, in fact, I still remember when I was back in grade 7 that I found something very, very fearfully um, that I have got stage fright. Well, stage fright isn't really a problem for a like, new middle school student because you haven't got so much time or chance to be stage frightened. So it was like even in the group performance, most of the time you just stand here you don't, you don't say or sing a word, you just stand here like a parking meter and wait until it is your time to leave the stage. Um, everything would be great, my parents haven't concerned about that, um, the stage fright. So it was one year later when I uh, attended a grand student meeting that every counselor, every teacher, all working at the principal, gave a long, tedious speech. So it was like that. I was standing on the stage as a star student winner waiting to be awarded. Um, and I was at ease. I behaved naturally. I was comfortable feeling everything under my control. And in a sudden, the ceremony host just handed me a microphone and let me to say a few things about how did I get this, this kind of prize. Well, I was surprised. They didn't mention this in the previous rehearsal. So to give you an idea what that was like in the moment, um, the best and appropriate adjective will be squeezed. Yes, my heart is racing, my like, body is shaking, my hand is sweating. Um, I have exactly no idea what to say about. And uh, when the microphone was handed to me, I say nothing but one word. Thanks. Um, so it was pretty embarrassing, like hard to describe about the deep regret in my heart, a kind of feel that you feel sometimes your mouth is wasted or useless, like, like this. So um, I immediately run after the stage and when I was running, I find myself like awkward past just pass through me like a flashback. From too young, we are taught to be quiet, to be neat, to be obedient. A famous phrase would be described as silence is gold. We learn to be considerable, to maintain the harmony or integrity. Um, that we are afraid to say our own things and be pre-scared for its outcome. And I realized that this afraid of stupidity was once my nightmare. Um, the worst part was public speaking. Um, it's about expression. Um, so, like, I still remember when I was in, back in elementary school, I was the host of, like, um, a process about flag racing. I was at a stage and I pronounced the word wrong. Uh, like, it's like I pronounced something from, from the world to word. And I still remember the look of all my classmates just looking at me and it was dead silence. Um, I have got like, like scared deaths and um, I just went off to the stage like I mentioned in the previous one. Um, so like this fright of embarrassment just washed over me like a wave of anxiety. It washed me again and again from the group performance to like drama show. Well, I could be maintain a shy little boy like until a special final term exam. Um, it's about a compulsory course. 
Drama, performance, and appreciation. Um, the very final was to perform the story of Snow White. Everyone, every, every classmate shall be participated. So that was it. I selected a character with few lines, the hunter. I come to the stage and watched quietly. Um, our Snow White, which is now among the Ted volunteers, um, I watched her performance. And um, the, the sword she was using, the stage prop, was broken at the stage. I was curious about how she could perform under this situation. Like, that was pretty embarrassing, right? Um, the prop was broken. But surprisingly, she just fight with the evil witch like nothing happened and shouting her lines as loud as possible. I was shocked, like I haven't seen someone did this before. Like someone could be so involved into something that is not good but with full passion. I suddenly realized that the essence of drama is not telling a story, but to come with the thought and the spirit of characters. Right after this event um, was the time when the famous video like Quincy Dance go viral. So I had this thought like if our Snow White could perform naturally without a hint of like embarrassment or pre scared then I should also be able to do it. So that was it. Um, I called my best friends, which is now among the audience, and we made our own version of coincidence video, like we adapted it into a sand new version or something. Uh, we asked about any teacher who is interested in this project and after that I finally find myself it's, it is quite good to be expressing yourself. It is funny and full of merriment. And um, at this special stage, the TEDx, Yongqing Street, I would like to share it with you guys. Sorry, right? I really? Um, could you like play the video for me? Um, thank you. <laughs> so, um, after this project, I actually find um, it is quite successful to be self-expressed. That there is no such thing as self-realization, like I mentioned in the title. 
People do not change their self automatically or otherwise prison architect will lose their job. Um, job realization, like self-realization will be take place when it comes. This experience that I share with you guys um, is unique. It is a freshness of deep rings in your life, the glimmer of lighthouse in the weather sea. And I would rather say in another term, it is a reverse. Um, but don't get me wrong, it is a reverse that all, all among us we encountered. It's a win doesn't come naturally sometimes, it needs a kind of arousal in self-awareness added a little insight. What helpful is, no matter how bad you think you are, how hopeless the situation you are facing, we all pack on our lines, awaiting a rebirth. Whether you like it or not, it's on the way. So hold up maybe a little longer, no matter how much you want to kill your old you. Rebirth is awaiting. Thank you.